Copenhagen. <laughs> psychedelic speech writing adventure. Actually, I don't think it's going to be psychedelic at all. I just said that to make you interested in this uh, speech writing trip. But it is going to be weird because I'm going to speak at this conference, uh, the Logograph, Retor, Retor Logograph Conference 2011, which I've spoken at, at this conference before. But I'm also going on live television tonight. Well, maybe it will be psychedelic. I'm going on live television uh, tomorrow night uh, in Denmark. Copenhagen, so uh, that'll be interesting, and uh, good old United Airlines, they stuck me in the middle, even though I had an aisle seat, they stuck me in the middle, I said, I think I'm in the middle, I think I've signed up for an aisle, she says, yes, you're in the middle, well, I know, but I, I signed up for the, we've had a change of aircraft, smaller aircraft, you're in the middle now. Was there any remuneration that you might give me for this uh, indignity? I have absolutely nothing, sir. There's something wrong with the woman sitting next to me. She's in a state of perpetual motion. And the guy on the other side of me keeps distracting me because he's laughing like an asshole at some movie he's watching. live TV in Copenhagen tonight to talk about speeches. What if I screw up? I always see people for the first time on TV and think they're gonna screw up. I think they must be so nervous and sometimes they look nervous. What if I look nervous? What if I go blank? Why are they talking about speeches on Sunday night on the TV news? The segment's supposed to be 10 minutes long. Why are they talking for 10 minutes about speeches on the TV news on Sunday night? These questions make me nervous. What if I sweat like Nixon during the 1960 televised presidential debates against Kennedy? Yeah. <coughs> Yo. Bare i, ja, du ved, tag, eller hvad hedder det, selve live'en ligger der også. Øh, den kan I jo så scrolle hen over eller gøre grøn. Well, if it's a choice, I'll take the elevator. Jet lag. Heading out for a walk at 6 a.m. If a guy from Chicago was ever going to be a little nervous in a town like Copenhagen, this this would probably be the time of day. Nobody's out yet. I don't think people go to work quite as early here. Uh, some sort of loud, drunk people every once in a while in an alley. Seven a.m. What could be going on in there? I'm afraid to find out. Why didn't I go in there? I'm such a fucking pussy. What do you have for breakfast in Copenhagen? 
what else? to Christian's Haven. Thank you. <laughs> We're in Denmark. Ivory and ivory. We occupy Copenhagen. One, I know this guy. <laughs> yeah, you know this guy in the US, but he's also very well known here because mm -hmm. you could say that he spoke his way to the presidency, right? And if he's going to be re elected, that will probably be because he spoke, speaks his way to the presidency again. And this is the president of the Danish trade unions. Mm -hmm. You can see they made it like the Obama post. Yes. Say something good about our country. With God's help and for the sake of our nation, it is time for us to join hands in America. So ladies and gentlemen, we've seen what can happen when a speaker with conviction uses creative and artistic means to deliver an utterly unique message to an audience. Real, lasting good can be done. Then you will need it all. Vi er nu klar til at starte det tid til at slukke en hver form for elektronisk udstyr. Det gælder også mobiltelefoner, som skal være slukket under hele. Vi er udlodning i Frankfurt Airport. Vi er alle gonna die. My real problem when I travel is that I'm a goddamn klutz. I just, uh... <laughs> I just put my finger into the guy sitting there. I just put my finger into the sprite of the guy sitting next to me. Sam Johnson liked to say, Almost all the absurdity of conduct arises from the imitation of those whom we cannot resemble 